pretty good. Girl, that hair. It is a mess. Does that look good, Bite Bites? You got blueberries, orange, grape, and date. Blueberry. Yeah. We got sausage and bacon and egg and green juice. Is that good, Bubba? You didn't waste no time on that bacon, did you? No. Okay. Good morning, everybody. I am about to, the sun is just now coming up, and I'm about to throw on, you guys, some, I'm about to throw on some bacon. Sorry, I don't know why this camera makes, it's not flashing. You guys, I'm digging cooking with the cast iron. So far, so good. I'm so tired of going through skillets like crazy. We cook a lot at home. Even the non-stick, we might get like seven good months out of. I I'm going with cast iron right now, and so far, it's working out. It is heavy. Where I've done gymnastics for so many years, my wrist, I have a lot of issues out of my wrist now and this big cast iron skillet it's a little bit of a pain to wash when i have to that's my only downfall to me with cast iron is it is heavy and if you got you know your fingers and your wrist ain't the strongest it's it's a little bit tough but either way it's not destroyed <laughs> my other set that we bought not long ago everything burns to it already so we're going with cast iron what are you doing i need a bigger tool kit um, you have a backpack that is organized for camera equipment. It's because my ADD, I end up just bringing it in as I need it, and then... And that's why we're a mess. No, I gotta take it back out there. And you got... The, the drone also has a case. It's in the truck. I just brought it in because I needed the card out of it. It's all I done. And you couldn't have just popped the card out and left the drone in the case. <laughs> Whew, I'm telling you. That's why women's a little more organized. All right, y'all, I'm trying something new today. I'm back to using the Canon. Had to, I'm not gonna risk missing a good shot because the camera kicks off. Sunday, when we filmed the outro to the vlog, that camera, my Sony, this camera right here, it does pretty good. The rolling shutter sucks on it though, so when you move real fast or anything, it bends the background. This is the Sony ZV-E10, not a great camera. But I am on my way right now to go get the Suburban started. I'm gonna take the Suburban down to the track. I just got to throw a battery charger on it. Hopefully the battery ain't zapped completely out. If it is, I only bought it like four months ago so I can go get another one. I'm going to get the battery for the side by side so we can get that down there. Let's get down here and get this Suburban started. I am happier about this than y'all could ever realize. She's not been started. I don't know if you can hear it or not. She ain't been started a good seven, eight months. I'm gonna try to get this thing down to the track without getting killed, because at the moment it has no brakes. I wonder if y'all can still hear me. I go through a lot to get these shots, a lot of walking. You see how far I'm parked away over here? Oh, this track's rough right now. Here we go. That's not good. Shoot. She's not answering the phone. I seem to be stranded. I didn't think this through. Hi. Uh, what are you doing? Nothing. Checking the mail. Um, would you be interested in come picking your husband up? Man, I can. You can or you will? Well, I should just leave you down there, shouldn't I? No, probably not. I guess now all I can do is do what men have been doing for thousands of years best, waiting on a woman. I can't believe this was underwater. They make snow angels in the hay. <laughs> it actually worked. <laughs> you spin me round, round, baby, right round. Well, I shouldn't have done that. Ooh, this is gonna be awesome. Look who's coming. How you doing? What's up, Hug? You brought the whole fam damnly. Yeah, he felt, shh. God, that dog, she mm. squeaks. She don't bark, y'all, she squeaks. Bugs are like, hey, he man. Over again, so I was like. 
He's looking like he wants to explore. <laughs> What's up? Where are we at? Tell Daddy say I overlooked my eye. Our eye. Your eye, what happened? I have no clue. We was outside. He never even cried. Huh. I'm done. He never cried or nothing. Where are we at? We at the racetrack? Racetrack? I reckon I ain't seen a dog animal down here. What's up, bud? Wait, wait, wait. No pumpkin, no. Buddy, yes, you're loving it, ain't you? Hi, Tiz. Uh-oh, be careful. Huh? Clip that on you. Where? Um, just like I got mine. If we put the camera here, we could walk over the grandstand and they could still hear us. Really? Yeah. Man, I wish it hadn't got cloudy. Come here, guys. <laughs> what? What, honey? You want up? What do you think, man? You love this place, don't you? <laughs> you love this racetrack. What? The other day we had him down see? here. And he was just mind blown that he could just run and go like never before. Like this is free range for him. Yeah, here. this is free range. <laughs> He's like nobody tries to stop here, me. Go He's play. Like, this is awesome. I couldn't find his Crocs. I was trying to find. I couldn't really find my uh, other ones either. Hey, where you going? Dizzy Manor. Hey, you got a skirt on, Missy. Don't fall. Yeah, don't fall. You sure skin them knees up. Hey, would you come here? Oh, you're going right for the mud hole. That's what she's doing. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> and them little legs travel fast. <laughs> Watch them close right here. Look at Pumpkin try to run. She's getting so fat she can't. Dizzy, I know what you're trying to do. No, boy, Nanny, listen, you don't need to go down that way. There's a big old hole down there Daddy's got picked. <laughs> what did you find? Oh, whoa, hey. She <laughs> just, just bumped right into it. <laughs> Lord, my poor kids, it's no wonder. You got to pay attention when you guys walk. They walk like this. Looking that yeah, like I know, both of like, them. Is somebody behind me? Boom. There goes Moo Moo. He's having a hard. Skipping along. Oh gosh, poor dog. Are you okay? He didn't see Pug. He tripped clean over top of him. That's what Mama say. You gotta look where you're walking. Oh, that was rough, wasn't it, Pug? Would you get over here? Hey, bud. So I figure Sean's like, have you vlogged yet today Six yet? No, I haven't. This. Uh, me and the kids we were outside for like his whole three area hours. For snakes, man. And they was using their bubbles. Sean got them a little bubble machine and their sidewalk chalk and was painting everything and blowing bubbles and chasing bubbles. I had to burn some boxes in the burn barrel. Our creek keeps washing down garbage. And I don't know how unless people's throwing it over the mountain out of their vehicle and then the water Mommy, is just pushing it because we're the last house in the holler. So I've been getting some of that done, but I figured I would cook with you guys. Mommy, what? Shut down. Okay. But I figured I'd cook dinner with you guys. I think I'm just gonna make Salisbury steak and brown gravy. Y'all, my poor old pug. Bless his heart. He's getting so old. His joints are getting, they're giving out on him. He's having a hard time. I gave him warm bath last night and lotion his belly skin and stuff up real good because he gets really dry. He has got bad allergies. He's had them his whole life. What? But I've been trying to just give him a little extra attention, a little extra care, because I don't know how much longer we're going to have him. He's 12, 13 years old now. <laughs> <laughs> Look where you you're run. going. You run. You're going. Ah! <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> Y'all, my little Colton Wayne is going to be like his mama. Very accident prone. I can already tell. I'm telling you, when I was a kid, oh, I broke my ankle. I think I fractured my elbow. My knees are scarred up. I got scars all over me from a kid. I was very accident prone, probably because I was like my children. I was a rough outdoors kid. That's just how we grew up. Oh. <laughs> Hey, a little old man. Hey, buddy. 
Buddy, oh my God, your paws. You've been in the mud. <laughs> Y'all overlook me. We have been outside all day doing bubbles, doing um, sidewalk chalk, playing up in the woods, doing all kind of stuff. Been down to pick Sean up. Y'all seen that. I'm cooking dinner now. I'm doing Salisbury steak with brown gravy, macaroni and cheese, broccoli, and uh, had a piece of corn left over. For some reason, Colton don't like corn on the cob at this moment. He always did before. But I got a little piece of that for Chloe to heat back up from last night. And I got both of them some cauliflower and some ranch dip because they've both been liking it. This is what we got going. I got my gravy sitting there getting ready. Got that going. I put some green bell pepper in there because I like the taste of it. I'm gonna make these noodles. What is going on in here? Oh, you got the peanuts, huh? Y'all, we've been neck deep in taxes for the last five days. It's over, finally. Like, this is my least favorite time of the year is tax season. Dinner tonight. Y'all, I don't know if any of y'all have ever been to the Old Mill in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. They have some of the most phenomenal soups, like their corn chowder and loaded baked potato soup. It's delicious. Well, during Megan's birthday, I ordered her some chocolate from there, and I seen that they had their tater soup. So we're gonna try it. If not, we're gonna have to go to Pigeon Forge soon. Uh, that is right here. What? That. I ain't gonna use the Dutch oven. Why? Right, well, I can. I can. Huh? You're pretty. Or it's light inside. You're pretty. You know what, Sean? He was supposed to edit that part out. I was telling him to use the Dutch oven because it's white inside and be pretty. You know. Soup time. We're gonna add some bacon in it. Oh, it smells just like it. Oops. Five million burns later and the bacon is done. Now all I gotta do is cut up the green onions and shred the cheese and this will be ready to eat. Let's see if it tastes the same. Y'all. Mm. Cheese. Yum! Mama, the soup is good. That's great. Now let's talk about the fact that I just made this trip. And my thing was going. Y'all, I seen this beautiful candle tray I wanted yesterday in there. And if come find out it was on sale. Mm -hmm. But it would have went on top of that, had a bunch of tea light candles in it, and it was gone. Guess what they say? What? If it was meant to be, it would be. Sean, you I didn't see do it. I could see his face right now. He said, Oh, the line's too long. I said, Well, I'll come back tomorrow. Well, I mean, you couldn't even get out in the door yet. Yeah, they were the line was out the door. I will admit that. That smells good. What's wrong with my baby? Say so she trying to go to sleep. I already got you a bowl out setting. What, this? No, yours is the pink bowl. Why would... Oh my God, that is good. I wonder if the kids will eat it though. I don't know, I got them a I bowl out. I know, we'll have cheese. All I know is we are getting ready to eat. One question I always get asked, how do I take care of my cast iron skillet? I've seen a lot of people are intimidated by the process of how you have to wash that. I've avoided this question like the plague because I know the cast iron thing People take this very seriously. If you want to know how I take care of mine, and you can see, it's a good season on that skillet. 
That's a good seasoned pan. I wash it like I do the rest of the dishes with soap and water and then I dry it off and then I recoat it with oil. You're not going to take that polymerized oil off of that skillet with any kind of dish soap. I know y'all got your great grandma's or your grandma's cookie sheet laying around that's got that black film on it. No matter how much you scrub, it won't come off. That is polymerized oil, the same thing that's the season inside of your skillet. The skillet's about four years old, you see. No rust, it's seasoned great. Like nothing sticks on it. We even got this little one here, see how good and shiny that is? That we cook eggs in no sticking whatsoever don't be intimidated by cast iron because you think you got to do some big process to wash it and i know there's going to people be people in the comments like going nuclear because i said i use soap and water listen wash it dry it recoat it with oil you won't have a problem i promise you that just listen to me you can call lodge themselves and they'll they'll tell you yes you can wash it with soap it's not gonna hurt it you want some candy <laughs> Do you want some candy? Yummy. Yeah. Open. Here you go. Chew it up. Here you go. Yeah. No. Don't tell me they got two bad ones in a row. Here, Can you try another one? Oh no! Here, try it. I'll try it. Try that one. No, make that one down. No, make that one down. Mama, your turn. Right there. Mistake. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs>